Did you know that the term button-down shirt is actually in reference to the collar? Anytime there's buttons here, usually with an Oxford cloth shirt, that makes it a button-down. If there are no buttons, it's just a normal dress shirt. Here are 10 ways to style yourself in a white shirt. Here we go. Looks one through three are gonna be a little bit dressy. Here in the first one, we've got the button-down shirt and just some slim gray trousers with a brown wingtip and a brown boot. This is just your classic business casual look. The shirt fits really nicely. The pants fit really nicely. These are actually half of a suit from Everlane. I really, really just enjoy the classic vibe of an outfit like this. Showing the sock a little bit, if you wanted to add in a pop of color there, you could, but otherwise, it's just an extremely reliable outfit. In our second look, we have the same base, but then I threw on the jacket with a pop of color tie and I swapped out my shoes for black. So because I'm going with the all dark aesthetic with the suit, I really wanted that nice pop of maroon from the tie like that. You see the button down collar is gonna be a little bit more casual, a little bit more sporty than a traditional dress shirt, but the black shoes just really create a dark aesthetic for the entire outfit. And then I'm really able to get that nice pop of color from the maroon tie. Super classy, super classic, looks great. Look three, a little bit more on the casual side of dressy. We've got some slim fit chino pants, the same white button up. This uh, burgundy jacket is part of a suit from Indochino. These are GH Bass loafers with the tassels, which are really fun. They're also kind of a burgundy color to kind of tie in with the jacket. We've got a brown belt with it. And this is the type of outfit that if you're going to a night out or a date or something where you wanna be edgy and dressy, not really edgy, but just kind of classic and really nicely styled, you can't go wrong because the colors kind of make it a little bit more interesting, but overall it's actually a really classic, simple outfit. Stepping into the casual territory now, same chino pants from before, same brown belt, same button up shirt. Talking about versatility guys, keep that in mind. It's easy to style these same pieces in lots of different ways by throwing on these Chuck Taylor 70s, throws back to a little bit more of like a vintage 50s kind of vibe. I rolled the sleeves up to the elbow just to really, really maintain that casual nature of the outfit, but everything's slim fit. I cupped the pants once at the top of the shoe just to kind of have them fall a little bit more nicely right there. But this is a great spring and summer casual outfit that's still dressy enough, but not overly dressy. Look five in the casual department, we've got same vibes, except now some slim dark denim, black boots with the button up shirt. So we just basically swapped out the jeans for the chinos and uh, some boots for what we had on before with the sneakers. Cuffed the jeans a couple times just cause I like the vintage vibe of that. And then I threw this suede jacket on over the top just to show you that it could be a perfect outfit for going out in the evening or anytime you wanna look and feel really nice and a little bit more on the dressy side. Notice that I'm not wearing a belt. I always feel like that kind of adds a little bit more of an edgy vibe to my outfits when I don't have one on. Look six is really nice for spring and summertime, especially on those warmer days. We've got the button down with some blue pleated chino shorts. Got a French tuck going, just the front little bit there, as you can see, a couple of the buttons undone on the top, sleeves rolled up to the elbow still. But anytime you're dressing for the summertime and you wanna look nice, love these Nisolo uh, Hirachi sandals. They're just a little bit different than what you are normally gonna see from an outfit like this. And overall, it comes together as something that's stylish and preppy, but not overly so, and you're gonna stay cool on a hot day. Moving into the edgy category, we went with these plaid original penguin trousers and then a light wash denim jacket over the button up shirt. Again, no belt, just cause I like the little bit more of an edgy vibe that it brings. And then a simple Koyo low top sneaker in a casual white. Again, you could fill that area on your ankle with a color pop on a sock. But for me, I just, especially in spring and summer, I like to keep that gap open with a no-show sock. And this is just a really fun, slightly more edgy outfit, but it's also still extremely approachable because it's just a denim jacket and some fun trousers with a sneaker. Look eight, again, moving into edgy. And this one is kind of a nice summer layered look. You guys have probably seen me wearing this 
pretty regularly if you're a normal watcher of my videos. The button up shirt layered over a white tank top tucked in to some black chino shorts and then my triple black Vans Authentics. I absolutely love these just because the all dark shoe isn't necessarily something you're used to seeing in the spring and summertime, but they're still really low cut and comfortable. So they work on a warm day. Monochromatic tones are really nice too. Look nine is one of my go-to anytime I need to wear all white or if I'm just in the mood to wear all white. White slim fit denim, same tank top and shirt layering from before. And now I've got on some white Vans. They're beat up, they're dirty, and I love them that way. That's just kind of how I like to wear my canvas white sneakers. But if you are randomly invited to a white party or something where you need to wear all white or you want to wear all white, this is a really good way to do it with some white pants and just a nice layered situation because you could button the shirt up if you need to be a little dressier on into the evening. And finally, look 10. Always love black on white. So my mind immediately went to some distressed denim, some pointed toe stacked heeled boots from Steve Madden. You guys have seen these before. I absolutely love these boots. And then over the top of my button down shirt, we've got just a clean black leather jacket that's not too heavy, but you know, on a warmer day, on a warmer evening, you might not want to wear a leather jacket, but on a cooler evening, it would work really nicely, especially if you have a lighter weight one. This one's from Nordstrom. It's just really approachable and fun, but also edgy. And there you go, guys. Hope you see how versatile a white shirt can be, anything from dressy to casual to a little bit edgy. One of the most classic pieces in menswear because they're extremely stylish. Find something that fits you a little bit slim, but not too snug wear it in a ton of different ways. Go tag me on Instagram so I can see how you're styling yourself. Follow me there. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.